lower hut drive piles to two meters every site it's amazing to think that it actually like works like everyone clicks together when you think about how many people you have to line up it's probably the only time i've ever seen wheelbarrows stick like this two wheelbarrows two times the firm <laughs> uh, we actually probably should do some work now yo yo just give me like we'll do like a drive into the section shot eh yep There used to be a house here. More energy. <laughs> there used cool, to be eh? a pond here. Yeah. <laughs> Even look at that, how much it's gone. It's cool, eh? Man, it's so clean. So different already. I love a good, fresh, clean site to work on. It's Thursday morning, we're on the lower hut demo site. Well, I don't know if we can call it a demo site anymore. We're on the lower hut two lot subdivision and we're building the front house. What we're gonna do this morning, we're gonna give this whole site a light compact so that we can spray and mark the driven piles with a pile driver. He doesn't want us to give it a full on compaction until he's driven his piles through. So then he'll drive his piles, we'll come back, we'll do another top up of base, we'll give it a proper compact and then we'll start building our rib rough slab on top of driven piles, lower hut drive piles to two meters every site. And it's just like mowing the lawn, just like So we're going to mow the lawn that way and then we mow the lawn that way. Right, for all you like keyboard warriors out there, I know this is just a baby compactor. All we're going to do is just seal the top right now and then we're going to drive piles and the pile driver will rip it all up but by sealing the top we can spray and mark every single pile properly kind of like this photo here insert photo here <laughs> the 9 eye job where we you know we marked out all 72 piles i counted up yesterday i think this one's got 50 something like that I'm uh, just sending, just, we're just double checking something on the plan. Always real fun when you're looking at the plans on your phone. Surveys are here, we're going to do site set out, which is the very first job we, you know, now we like actually can start as a builder. Yeah. 
so the surveyors use their machine and they're going to drive a couple of these in uh, we do what's called offset lines we're going to do one line there and one line along the back and the line is a meter offset from where our finished slab is and that gives us a perfect right angle triangle we will then use that to set out the foundation as you've seen in a couple of my videos if all the boundary pegs are in place and we know they're accurate technically the builder can do that themselves but I've started using these guys to do a setup for me on every single job. Two reasons, number one, a lot of jobs are subdividables and so the lot sizes are changing and we just want to make sure we're getting everything in the right place. And number two, uh, it's just that peace of mind, you know, when you've got a surveyor telling you exactly where it is down to the millimeter, you know that it's going to be right. So what we've done is we've put, we've pushed the base course a meter behind where the slab should be and we've also prepped this driveway area. We always go wider than where the house is going to be by at least a meter. That gives us a nice flat working surface, good for putting things like scaffold down and your, your foundation boxing, all of those things. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the prep on this site is well and truly done. The next two jobs is to drive piles and then we will come back and do our final layer of base course and sand and then the plumber will come in and do his drains under the slab and then we can crack on with foundations boom just like that it all happens so easy so if you uh if you want to keep following the progress of this build and all our other ones go ahead click subscribe and keep fo uh, go ahead click subscribe and keep watching let's go So once those survey pegs are in place, we will come back and put in profiles, very similar to what we did at Wifer 2. So the profile then holds the string line and then we use the string line to mark out the perimeter of the house. And then from there, the builder will mark out all of the piles, very similar to what we did at Nainai. The builder will work through that then the pile driver which is the same guys as Nino town and country will come back and they will drive piles and then the builder will come back again and will chop off the piles to height and arrange that last layer of base course and then the plumber can come in very uh Sounds complicated, eh? Yeah, so many teams even before the slabs there. Yeah, it's just kind of, yeah, that's a good snapshot of like how many people are involved and how you have to line all those people up. It's amazing to think that it actually like works, like everyone clicks together. When you think about how many people you have to line up. Probably the only time I've ever seen wheelbarrows stick like this. Two wheelbarrows, two times the fun. <laughs> uh, we actually probably should do some work now. So we're at the Wi-Fi 2 job, we'll get the wheelbarrows around the back and we'll do a quick update, eh? Yep. Two wheelbarrows, two times the fun. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going in the two minute video. <laughs> Look at this, last week this was a big hole. There used to be a house here. And now there's base course. Uh, this has been brought up to the bottom of slab height and we've started cutting the front lot as well So next two things we're going to do on site is we're going to get the surveyors to come and give us some offset lines for the house And then we are also going to get the pile driver 
booked in, he's penciled in for two weeks away. He'll drive piles, we'll cut them, we can prep the slabs and we will go from it being a muddy bog to a building site real quick. Thanks guys. So it's smoko time. I've had my up and go about an hour, I need a coffee and a pie. So we better stop the video there. Um, as always, thanks for watching and here is 30 seconds of the next video. Oh.